Hello and how's everyone doing? Welcome to the fourth episode of Resident Evil 8. Knife only. In the last episode we started and finished uh, Donna's house. I feel bad for Donna to be completely honest because uh, she was never really an evil person. Um, her parents had an unfortunate accident and they passed away. Uh, so she created Angie, so she could have some sort of companion, so she wouldn't be living all alone, um, which is pretty, pretty tragic, pretty unfortunate. Miranda found out about this, though, and, um, she took advantage of it, basically taking, uh, Donna in, you know, as a, uh, kind of like a stepchild kind of deal, and, um, she gave her the, the, the virus, um, or the parasite, I should say, and, um, she's actually the weakest out of all of the lords, because she decided to split it between her dolls, so she could use her power to have her dolls move around and, and stuff like that with her control, um, so she wouldn't be lonely, so she wouldn't be alone. Uh, that in itself is, is pretty sad as well. Um, Miranda asked her to plant flowers and stuff, uh, and these flowers actually made people hallucinate, which is why Ethan was able to uh, see Mia and uh, see the giant uh, baby, uh, stuff like that. Now, it's also why he saw Angie instead of seeing, um, instead of seeing Donna. So, basically, she she, as in Miranda, used that plant and stuff. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I wonder if I can just run past this guy, because I really don't want to fight him. I really don't want to deal with this. I hope so. I hope he just runs away. Run away. Anyways, so basically she was just taking advantage of Donna's unfortunate situation to her own gain. Um, they're basically, all of them were all basically promised some sort of uh, thing to basically be the best. And she lied to them all because in if you read her books, uh, Miranda thought none of them were, were good enough to be a uh, vessel for Eva. So they're all being used. It was unfortunate. I also kind of feel bad for Moreau as well, too. But I'll talk about more about that once we get closer to his area. He is d he's not a good, a good person, of course. Um, but again, I still feel bad for him. Uh, okay, so let's save right here. Alright, so let's go up... Oh, wait. Fort of a rare animal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so wait, I don't really need those anymore. I think, yeah, I'm going down. But so as you see, I'm going down. And if you look that way... <coughs> like, if you look outside... You can see pretty much everywhere. Using this, I think we're going down... Yeah, we're going down. So this is basically just a loading elevator, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. But, whatever. So, the reason why I feel bad for Moreau. So, he did do testing on people. Um, so he's not a good guy. But, he is treated like the ugly duckling. Um, nobody wants him. Nobody cares about him. And overall, just... You know, everybody could care less about him. No one gives a shit about him whatsoever. And, um, it's because of how the Kado took to him. Um, he was severely mutated, hunched over and everything. And, you know, he very, very, very deformed. So, basically, nobody wants anything to do with him, basically. Everybody treats him like a piece of shit, pretty much. Um, even in, th in his notes, you can actually see... Uh, him, that he was very surprised that someone actually gave him one of the pieces of rose to hold on to. 
because he even said that nobody likes him and he's not invited to things and stuff and uh, it's very it's, it's sad reading the notes is really sad he also before I continue onwards um, he's also oh my god stupid controller um, he also you can so he doesn't want you to leave of course and he comes after you and blah blah but he's also he he also says things like, oh, mother this, mother that, and stuff. So I feel like he's doing this to get some sort of attention, to get, um, you know, um, affection, stuff like that from Miranda. It's it's pretty tragic, tragic story for him as well. Um, what he did ex obviously wasn't, um, we can skip this, obviously wasn't, good, of course, you know, with the tests and stuff that he does with the cadeau, of course, but I st I kind of feel like, uh, I kind of feel like if um, Miranda never infected them and never gave them the stuff, that he would never be a bad guy. I think he was actually the village doctor. I think he was the one who became the village doctor, because if you look... Oh crap, it's supposed to go the other way. Um, if, you, if you look at one of the signs um, in this area, you can actually see Moreau's clinic on one of the signs. So I think he's actually the doctor. <coughs> I don't know, I think he's just, you know, an unfortunate character. Uh, same with Donna. You know, it's, it's too bad. Okay, we'll just take it. Wow, I literally walked up to you and you didn't even do anything. Yeah, 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 get off me. Actually, we can probably just run past this guy. Go in here and grab the friggin... Go in here. I'm gonna push this. Zoop. Pull that across so I don't deal with them. Grab the boat key. What's up, bud? Oh. I'm just gonna run past all these guys. There's no sense in trying to fight them all. It would take way too long. Actually, I want that herb. Did I pick it up? Uh, I think so. Okay. Ow. Ow. There we go. Alright. Okay. And then we come down here, and then we just gotta get the other part of the, the... I think we need to get the crank after this. Let's see, our total playtime so far is one almost two hours, and we're about halfway through the game. Um, oh, shit. I did not expect that. Okay. I didn't know that there was someone out, someone out here. Whatever. Bye bye, bud. Oh. Oh, wait, are they following me out? I guess so. Oh. I forgot to block again. Oh, well, that's alright. And now uh, you're dead, too. And then we use the boat key. Alright. I thought there was going to be a boat uh, boss battle on the boat, um, but I was wrong. The um, controls for the boat are kind of... they're not very flowy. It's almost like it's on a track, kind of. I mean, you can move it anywhere you want, but it's very stiff. Now we go in here, and then we see Chris. Skip, skip, skip video. Alright, let's go. I think it's dressed up here, actually. Where it shows the, uh... Moreau's clinic sign. Moreau's clinic. Yeah, just over here. 
Now we can't go over here just yet, but um, yeah, which makes me think that Moreau is actually the village doctor. I've seen this pot before. I don't understand why there's pots on posts. I think that's just a re you know, I think they were just reusing assets there. I don't know. Let's see, do that there. This puzzle is actually quite easy. We need to get the power on first. Okay. Let's see, do we have anything to sell? Um, let's see here. We got some fish. After we got some ammo, we can sell here. Kachink, there we go. Now, let's actually make some magnum ammo here. Oh, apparently I can only make six. Um, okay, so I'm not going to touch that just yet. Until we get near the end of the game, then I will. Oh, wait, we can sell that mine too. Awesome. Alright, so let's go. We need to go this way. This part is quite easy too. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to get a crank and then we're going to crank the other one over there. Actually, no, sorry. This one breaks. We have to go over to that one and then we have to ride all the way on our wheel thing to come over here, drain the water, fight him, and that's the end. And this isn't skippable either. Okay. Seriously? Yep. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I don't know how to get that one. I assume that means we need to shoot, so as I said, I think it's only select things that you're allowed to use your weapons for. So like this thing here. Like I can't hit that, so I would you I assume you'd I'd need the gun for that. Oh boy. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'd like to know how this thing didn't get broken down. Can I hit this with a knife? I can. Cool. Alright, let's go. Run! Alright, let's go up here. Okay, so let's open this. We gotta pull this. gotta run really quick because these things can actually drop down if you're not fast enough. Alrighty. So we gotta break this. Do that. Crank that one. Crank that one. And crank that one. And we gotta be super fast. Run! There we go. I'm going to wait for him to go by. No? Okay, I guess not. Oh, that's right. He jumps over on an angle. I forgot about that. Alright, let's go. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I'm dead. How did I die? 
Okay. I don't understand how I died. I didn't fall in the water. I walked under the plank. That's kind of weird, but whatever, I guess. Okay, so I guess I have to wait. Okay, now let's try see what happens. You will make it if you're fast enough. See, I feel bad because, again, like I said, he's trying to impress Miranda. He wants Miranda to give him affection and stuff like that. Grab our gold. We gotta go all the way back up here. All that just to push another one of these things. All right, break this down. And okay, yeah, we got to climb up here. Um. Oh yeah. up here perfect oh, the other side okay oh why aren't you oh oh so another thing where we need a gun I hope that doesn't this uh, disqualify you for using guns or you know for beating the game with a knife because like you can't hit those things they're way too far away you know so I really hope that it's not like, oh, well, you used a gun, because it'd be kind of like, um, oh, yeah, so you got to look at this first, and then you can do that. Um, as I was saying, I hope it's not like, oh, well, you used a gun, so you didn't beat it with just a knife, because, like, some of the things you need, you need the gun. You know, like, you need the, I needed the grenade to break the wall open to kill one of the sisters. You can't knife a wall open. Um, I had to shoot the window uh, to get that uh, bell outside of the uh, the window of the castle uh, because again you can't knife a window way up on the ceiling and some of those locks you know I obviously couldn't get. So I'm really hoping that uh, like I said, it doesn't disqualify you, because that would be really, really dumb. But uh, I haven't killed anybody without using a knife. I've done everything with the knife. You know, you guys have seen, so... Alright, so now we have to go and uh, do a puzzle. Now, I wonder if I can buy Magnum Ammo. Interesting. So that's really interesting. So I guess... So I guess the Magnum Ammo and the Grenade Ammo... And I guess the shotgun too, so I guess the stock of the 125 is total between every single playthrough then. Um, because I bought Magnum Ammo a few times, and then it's been sold out uh, throughout the entirety of my hardcore playthrough. It's been sold out the entirety of my uh, Village of Shadows playthrough so far. And as you can see right here, it's been sold out here, and we haven't been able to... Um, buy any at all. Uh, same thing with the shotgun ammo and the grenade and flashbang ammo, handgun ammo and stuff. You can still buy that because that's easy to craft of course. Um, but yeah, it seems like it... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that. Anyways, let's do this puzzle.
suppose it's kind of easy. So, I know how it shows the black down. The black is actually sideways. So, you got to take the picture and think of it sideways. So, you want to do blue, blue, and then you want to do red, and then you want to do red, and then that's supposed to be green. So, you want to take this one here. Um, let's see here. So, that, and you want to make that white, and then this one's blue, and there you go. So that's pretty much done now. Oh, I guess I can't move yet. Oh, I can now. So this is gonna. So I'm actually gonna save this here. Cause I'm not. I'm not too sure how this one's actually gonna go. Yeah. All right. Hmm. What way do I go? This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. And more monies. So, wait, can I climb up here? Okay, I guess not. That's weird. Because I remember reading a while ago, it basically said that you could climb on top of buildings and all that, and... Oh, God. I hope it's not super easy. Oh, he's gonna climb up? Oh, no, he's not. So he doesn't seem very hard so far. You just wait for him have to wait for him to come down. Alright, there we go. Ow. Looks like we kinda glitched through him there for a minute. So he just seems kind of more annoying than anything. Oh, I guess we'll need a health kit. There we go. Come on. Just die already. There we go. We got him open. Holy shit. All right. Come on, open up. There we go.
And there we go. That, wow, was very, very easy. Wow, I can honestly say that was easier than uh, Alcina. That was the easiest boss in the whole game so far. Alright, so how do we get out of here? Uh, let's see here. We need to go this way, I think. Yeah, I think that just means that these are things that you can go under, to be honest. I'm not looking forward to this fight on the Village of Shadows, though, and that's for sure. Another breakable thing. Okay. Um, let's try it. Oh, right here. Stronghold's going to be interesting, that's for sure. And we're just going to skip that. Head to the Stronghold. Alright, let's do that. Alright, and I can't we just use this to go up? And now we're in the loading screen elevator thing. Okay, so my thoughts on this fight in this area with the knife. Um it was very easy, very underwhelming. Um I figured Moreau would have been a more of a challenge than Alcina was. Um but it was very, very, very easy. Um, as you saw, I didn't have any issues with them at all. Um, Carl's going to be pretty interesting uh, because, well, we don't need a knife for him uh, at all. So we're just going to blast through that fight. That fight's super easy. Um, you have to use the tank for that fight. It even says in the, descri in the description... Um, the only exceptions are Carl and Miranda, but for Miranda, it's only when you're prompted to shoot. So, which basically, when she grabs onto you, um, that's on the at the last part when she grabs onto you. Uh, when it tells you to shoot, that's the only time you're allowed to uh, use a gun. Um, so, it's going to be interesting. The stronghold's going to be interesting because there's going to be a lot of guys. And especially the village elder, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, but uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. Could you fight him at the beginning? You saw me trying to fight him. Um, what do we need? This? No. Oh, we need the crank. Uh, crank. Okay. Alright, so basically we just need to come up here and grab the ball, and then come back here, and then we're done. Um, you would usually get the Magnum here, but I think it's just money, so I'm not too concerned about that. And there's some flying guys here too, but I don't really care for them either. And grab the ball, drop down here, or don't. I guess I can't drop down. That's fine. And we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go this way. And I think, yeah, it's over here. There we go. This one's not super difficult. This one's pretty straightforward. I do not like Carl's though. That's that's for sure. The only thing that kind of makes this one a bit difficult is oh no, yep, 
made that stupid break in the wall there. But if you do it quick enough, you should be good to go. Doopa doopa doo, just like that. Now, oh, no, no, down, go down the hole. There we go, and go like that. And you want to go up. Oh, we made it. Cool. All right, and there you go with this. I can't even see where the fuck I'm going. I wish they had better camera angles for this thing. I wish they had a top view. That, that would make things a bajillion times easier. So as you can see, you can't even see where the ball is in some parts. Which can be a bit annoying. Ding dong, there we go. All right, and we are done Moreau. So let's go back to the, uh, or not. Oh yeah, I was locked on the other side, I forgot. Okay. There are some treasures here, but I'm not gonna go for them because I don't really feel like it, to be honest. Um, as you can see, the gate here was smashed open, presumably by the village elder. I assume the village elder is probably the one who helped him, who helped uh, Carl put those up. Either elder that or Carl used his electromagnetic powers to uh, put them up, which would also make sense too. So let's talk to him. So we're not going to be coming back here. Might as well get rid of that. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I can't buy any Magnum rounds. Well, oh man, yeah, we literally, we only have one magnum round. Uh, how am I going to do this? So I have one. Well, all I can say is hopefully we find one at, uh, at the factory or at the other place. But... I think I'm going to leave this episode here um, because we are. I think we will start the. Um, I can't remember what the place is called now. The stronghold, the stronghold, and the factory uh, in the next episode. I don't know if the factory is going to be one episode or if it's going to be uh, two episodes. I'm not too sure because the factory is a little bit time-consuming um, because we also have Chris. Uh, Chris's part, because Chris's part doesn't have any um, save points to it, so we may break the factory into two parts, I think. Um, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll do the factory, and just after we meet up with Chris is when I'll save that. Um, and I'll break the episode off there if I remember. If I remember, because then after that it won't take us 45 minutes, I believe, to finish the game. Because after that we have Chris's segment, which doesn't take all that long, and then after that we have Ethan, and then the end of the game. So maybe about 20 minutes. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe maybe half an hour, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe like always, and uh, I will see you all in the next episode of Resident Evil 8, Knife Only.